the most common uh, debugging technique is uh, print statements uh, which uh, are uh, used uh, uh, by um, ma many programmers uh, to um, understand and debug code uh, because uh, it uh, is easy uh, to add print statements. Uh, most languages uh, uh, have print statements and um, they are uh, available to all uh, and no uh, additional software or uh, language feature is needed for them. Uh, a print statement uh, can be added uh, uh, to uh, a mutator and uh, it is uh, um, good for understanding uh, how the state uh, uh, changes, the state of the object changes uh, by this mutator. So the uh, information that can be um, that can be uh, gathered from a print statement uh, can be uh, the um, uh, methods that are called uh, the value of parameters uh, the order in which uh, methods are called and uh, the values of uh, 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 fields and variables uh, uh, local variables uh, at strategic points. Uh, it is often useful to uh, add um, a method uh, that prints uh, the, um, the state of all the fields in the class uh, and then if uh, uh, the, um, every method uh, has uh, at its entry point a print statement uh, uh, about uh, uh, the parameter that was passed and uh, um, the fact that it w that uh, and the name of the method that was called uh, and at the end uh, uh, has uh, a call to uh, uh, this um, uh, method that prints uh, the states of all fields. Uh, a picture of uh, uh, how the control flows between uh, uh, methods can be um, a drone uh, and it uh, can uh, make understand how um, each step is performed and so give this information uh, all this information that can be gathered from the print state um, um, however, however uh, there are disadvantages uh, uh, for using print statements because um, it can be um, uh, too uh, much work to uh, add print statements to every method uh, but also it is very tedious to uh, remove them when it's not needed anymore. Uh, it can lead to information uh, uh, overload if there are a lot of uh, methods and it will make it more uh, difficult uh, to spot the error among uh, all these uh, messages. And uh, when uh, when debugging is needed again with print statements, 
uh, it's again uh, needed to uh, add these print statements to each method, which makes it not practical. So, uh, these print statements will look uh, like these. There is this method that calls uh, that prints the, 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 the uh, state of each field. So now it needs to be completed. So Now, um, the stall can be called. And so it displays uh, this output and it also shows uh, that uh, for example uh, uh, plus uh, also calls um, apply previous operator every time it every time plus is called also apply previous operator is called so is this enough information, or too much, or too little? Mm. Yes, I think it's uh, just about right, because uh, only mutators need uh, uh, to be printed, because uh, getter methods, um, accessor methods don't change the state uh, uh, of um, an object, so they will not be involved into um, into uh, changes about the states. But maybe it is a good idea uh, for debugging to also add. Uh, these state print statements to all methods because maybe uh, the accessor method is not really an accessor method, um, but it can be easily spotted in the code by just reading the code. So I don't think it's practical to add more information than this because then. Um, this information overload will not make it able to spot uh, an error that uh, 
is most probably uh, present in uh, uh, the implementation of the uh, mutators rather than the accessors. So, uh, then let's see, maybe he, there, there really is an error. Um, so, three, four, and nine. are the numbers that were pressed and these digits, these first two digits are uh, added and then the result which should be 7 is 7 and uh, with this other example for the test minus 9 minus 4 is 5 so it's also good okay that, there is no error here uh, so the, the advantages of uh, uh, using print statements is that the, uh, the uh, uh, table with all the states uh, is um, um, done automatically uh, uh, from the uh, BlueJ uh, output and it's not needed to write it down uh, I think that um, with the world truths, uh, with the world truths, uh, the um, uh, state of the, um, the, the, the basically uh, with the, uh, the world truths, uh, if uh, there are a lot of methods that are called. Uh, and also if there are methods that call other methods uh, it can be difficult to uh, do the world truth with uh, pen and pencil it can be also uh, very long um, but on the other side um, having to uh, write uh, print statements uh, for each method uh, can be also very long. Uh, so if um, uh, if the bugging is needed to be done multiple times, then maybe it's better to add these print statements. Um, but when um, there is no uh, idea of whether um, uh, th there must be uh, when there is no idea if uh, multiple uh, uh, table states should be done and if the methods that are called are not so much it's easier to do it uh, with the world truth to debug with the world truth but uh, uh, the information that is given uh, uh, about the parameters um, and I think it there, there is no uh, real difference from uh, writing it by hand or so with the world truth and uh, the print statements. 
because it's only it's only one line of print statements and it also can be found with the world truths very easily which which of the methods are called of course if there are uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, methods that call other methods then uh, uh, it may be very easy to lose count of uh, which methods are called and in which order and what do they return and uh, how do they interact with uh, um, with the colors uh, with a wall through so the, uh, maybe for when there are a lot of met uh, when there are methods that call uh, multiple methods then maybe it's uh, much easier to to use uh, uh, the print statements.